Hello there, Party Panic people. It's Donkey Panic with a tutorial on how to install Feed the Beast, and more specifically, how to install Feed the Beast and use bucket plugins on it. Um, for this tutorial, I'm using a hosting company, Minosity. They're swell guys. Not paying me to say that. They're just swell guys. Um, Multicraft is the console that I'm using. You can you can stumble your way through this with MC My Admin too, but Multicraft's a little easier if you're just getting started. So I'd recommend that. Um, don't worry about my memory. This is just a tiny little server for you and me to try stuff out secretly. Uh, we're going to leave this jar file set as craftbucket.jar for right now. But what we want to do is in the advanced options, make sure that look for jars is set to the server base directory. And the reason we want to do that is because we're going to be running a custom jar file here. And the way we're going to get that custom jar file so we're going to look for MCPC Plus. If you're running on 1.5.2, you want to take the latest builds, I believe. If you're running on 1.4.7, such as the Ultimate Pack or Direwolf currently, uh, you want to take the legacy builds. So they're the ones with the L in front. So when you Google it up, you can follow. Uh, in the comments, I'll leave links for both. But for now, we're taking the L67 build of this. And then we're just gonna be server download. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can probably Google on your own. For this demo, we're doing the ultimate pack, but you can do your own pack. This will work. These instructions will work for all of them that I'm aware of. So download the pack that you want to your home computer and go back to your multicraft here. Let's see what your file access info is like. So I did that pretty quick. Let's go back. You're probably very derpy. Files, FTP file access, your IP, and then port's going to be 21 when it's FTP access, port 22 when it's SFTP, but don't worry about that. Um, admin.2, your name dot your partition. So this server happens to be running on the back of my direwolf server. So just for demo purposes, and then your multicraft password will also be your file access password. You can access files through this multicraft panel. Uh, I prefer not to. I use WinSCP. So we're going to go there, create a new connection, and it's an FTP style connection. Your IP and in this case, I'm admin.2. So if this were the eighth server on this node, it would be admin.8. And that's all you need there. So now we have a nice, fresh, empty root directory over there. And I want to get up to my desktop and go to fake server, which you all probably have a file like that. So this is what you're going to get when you unzip the file you receive from uh, FTB servers. Mods, core mods, config, server start, ser server start, jar file, and config. Now, you don't need the server jar, you don't need the start bat, and you don't need the other start sh because you're running it through multicraft so you don't need these two files and because we're replacing the jar file with mcpc plus we don't need to take the jar either so i'm going to copy these over blagablam blam and that's going to take a minute so i'll meet back up with you all right, and I'm back. We've put our files in here, minus the jar file, the two server start files. We've copied everything out from the FTB ultimate server pack file that we got. Don't peek at all that stuff now. All right, you can peek. Now we want to put in the MCPC plus jar. And remember, in our multicraft console, we have, let's go back. we have it called craftbucket.jar. Now the jar file we're putting in 
It's called MCPC plus legacy, yarda, 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 right? So once we put this jar in here, we're going to rename it craftbucket.jar because in MC, I'm sorry, in the uh, console for multicraft, it's looking for craftbucket.jar and in advanced options, we told it to look in the server based directory. So now we're going to make this file be what it's looking for. We're going to call it craftbucket.jar. MCPC plus again is going to form the bridge so that we can put bucket plugins in. Now while this downloads, let's talk about some basic plugins to put in once it does. Um, World Edit World Guard should be mandatory because World Guard is going to control a lot of options like whether the world is PvP, uh, whether certain parts, maybe an arena, is PvP and the rest isn't. Uh, and World Edit's necessary to make those selections. Even if you don't know how to build with it, that's okay. You don't have to. You should still probably put it in there. World Border is a useful plugin that does work on the FTB mods and that'll allow you to contain the world. You don't necessarily want people to go in all directions as far as they can, right? Um, people will take a boat out 20,000 blocks for no good reason, believe me. Votifier, Simple Vote Listener, um, real good plugins to have if you want the site to be public. So if you're going to be public, you need to get votes. Votifier will tell the server that the person voted. Uh, simple vote listener or any vote listener really will assign them a reward. So if you want the people to get a diamond, you've got to have a vote listener that says, when Votifier tells me that you voted, I'm going to give a diamond to the player. And then you configure that in its config. Uh, if you wanted to give them money, you're going to need Vault because Vault is a real simple lightweight plugin. I don't think it's been updated in a long time, but it still works just fine, knock on wood. Um, Vault communicates money from your economy program to other plugins. So if you want Simple Vote Listener to be able to give money, you're going to have to have Vault in there. And for all your other needs, if you don't know what you're doing, use essentials because that's going to give you sign shops, player shops, uh, warps, spawn, all kinds of all kinds of goodies. Chat control if you want it to be. And permissions X, you're going to need some kind of permissions program. Why not permissions X? Um, a lot of them are just as good almost, but PEX works with a lot of plugins and it's pretty easy. Look up some files. Don't post in the comments, help me with my packs, because I won't, and I don't care. All right, so now we've uploaded the MCPC Plus jar, and we're going to rename it Craft Bucket to Trick Multicraft, as it were. So now that we've renamed that Craft Bucket, and we've got our mods, core mods, configs in there, we're going to go ahead and start the server. It's exciting, I know. I can't wait either. So while the server starts, you can watch it if you want. Make sure everything loads in is a good thing to do. It's going to move faster than your eyes will. I, I pretty much know what I'm looking at here, but you can always scroll back or go look at your log to see everything load through. While that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the client. I've already got it picked on the ultimate pack in this case. All right, so the server is just about on. And I've gone ahead and put the IP and the port into my FTB server. And we'll just look at the Mojang logo in awe for a moment. Because we want to get in there before we mess around and just make sure that we generated a world. If you didn't pick a level seed, you want to make sure that it's not like all water and stuff because, you know, those maps suck, right? All right. Multiplayer. A fake server. Yes, this is me. Ah, spawn underwater ideal. 
Okay, so we generated a world. We have a map. Yays. Now let's stop the server. Now we're going to drop in our plugins. Everything in here except the jar file for MCPC Plus is a plugin. Oh, wait. Refresh directory, and you're going to see the new stuff it generated. So we're going to put the stuff in the plugins folder. Yeah, as you might have expected. So, if you don't put the MCPC Plus jar in here, you will not be able to generate this plugins folder. You will not be able to put in Bucket. Uh, Forge doesn't know about Bucket unless you tell it to, and that's what MCPC Plus does. And it does a great job of it. Almost done there. And there we go, we put the plugins in. We're going to restart the server once more. And this time we'll watch the console. How's that? All right, so there you see loading, initializing. You probably didn't see anything because it moves really fast, but you know, you'll you'll learn to see it. And the server's almost up again. Now we're back in with plugins. But I don't have any permissions to do anything. Probably can't break blocks even. Ooh, I can. Not bad. Let's opt me. There we go. Cool. If you're wondering why I have a death point here, it's because I've used this port before, and that's how the client judges. So apparently I got killed, likely AFK right there. All right. Hold. There we go. <laughs> All right. So world edits hooked in, and we've got a quote unquote spawn here um, and that's good so we've got plugins none of them are configured at the moment so we're gonna go ahead and stop the server once more and let's refresh our directory and because we went ahead and ran the server we generated a config for each plugin. I'm not going to teach you right now how to use those all, but you see I've got a config file matching each plugin, except Vault, which is just a pimp and runs all on its own, right? Uh, one other thing we're going to talk about right now is mod configs. There's a couple important things you need to do, even if you're like, my server is going to be so hardcore and we're leaving everything enabled and I don't care. You may still want to go into uh, the MFFS modular force field system config 
and do one thing for yourself, which is add users to this list to give them admin permissions. So if you don't put yourself in here, people can lock you out and kill you with a force field. Force fields don't respect op, they don't respect admin, they don't respect anything but people in this list. So even if you're going to do nothing else to the configs, you want to do that. But it's a good idea to check out some of the other ones, like in IC2, for example, you can disable the crafting of Nuke and, I, and uh, ITNT. Um, you may want to go into the gravity gun config and tell it not to pick up certain blocks because it's very buggy and will dupe certain things. I'm not going to tell you all of them. Screw you. Um, and portal gun config, if you're looking for it, it's not where it should be. Don't use this one. The real portal gun config, for some baffling reason, generates inside the world folder here. So use this for control measures on your portal gun, not the one in the config folder. Uh, you may want to disable the crafting of missed age books. You can find that in the regular config folder in the missed config. One of those dare missed configs.txt. And one other thing you might want to do if you're going to use th Thomcraft is come in here and uh, change the node rarity. The lower the number, don't take it to one, but the lower the number, the more nodes. So you might want to half this if you're planning on having a server with a lot of people on. If you want to use something at spawn, like I used the uh, stone brick number 98, maybe we want to make it so that the portable hole doesn't work through 98. It's a good idea to check through each config before you open the server, because you really can't change certain things later. Sure, you can change some things, um, but why not fix everything beforehand? How do you want the chunk loaders to deal, you know? Um, do you want to be locked out of the uh, MFFS force field? Probably not, if you're the admin op, right? And you are, because it's your server you just made. So now we've configured our plugins and we've configured our options. And we're going to start our server up. And then we're going to go advertise it on all the lists. And then we're going to say tra -la 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 -la, and delete it because this is, as the title may dictate, a fake server. And hopefully this has taught you to use the console. Again, I'm using the most gracious host, Minosity. You can do the same. I'd recommend it. And we see world border hooking there. Everything's going in just swell. And just to prove once again that it's running with bucket, let's get in there. Look at all my swell plugins. I got him, dude. Yay. Yay! It's a server! I'm on a server! Yay! <laughs> Bye!